Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Friday. Yesterday we kind of just put the house back together and um, relaxed. Valerie cooked dinner. She's also gonna cook salmon tonight, which is gonna be really good. I am on my way to Cycle Bar and it's a Disney Halloween theme, so I'm excited. I haven't been to Cycle Bar in a hot minute just because of like life and then the hurricane and my work schedule, like working Friday yes, last weekend. Um, so yeah, I am glad to, that things have like finally calmed down and everything and I can just kind of resume my schedule. Just wanted to open up the vlog and say we're all good hopefully you guys enjoyed the hurricane vlog because I don't know it's just tradition like I vlogged all of the hurricanes that I've been through in Orlando and stuff except for like 2004 because like vlogging wasn't a thing but still uh, we've been through a lot this one was quite quite bad I'm surprised that we didn't get more damage than uh, we did get which was like one shingle coming off I think and of course, like for the townhouses, of course it would be our roof. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but look, we're so lucky and I'm glad that most everyone, like including my coworkers and stuff, are safe. This is the traffic that I'm in to get back to Tampa because I'm since I'm going to Cycle Bar, I have to like come this way and then get on like a main highway. Um, but yeah, these are all people trying to get going like south so it's insane but i see my exit like it's less than like half a mile so i'll only be in this for a little bit okay guys let's have a little coffee chat so um got my coffee guys i take starbucks for granted because when they were closed yesterday i was like Oh my gosh, I just need coffee. Like, I guess knowing that you can't have it or knowing that like you can't get something, it makes you like want it more. So when the store um, became open at two, I was like, okay, I need coffee. So I just like bought the vanilla cream cold brew um, that you could like buy at the grocery store. But anyway, let's chat a little bit because, oh my gosh, so. My day started out kind of like weird because so cycle bar normally always has like broken bikes, right? Well, turns out they actually didn't, but I have always known cycle bar to like have broken bikes and I don't mind riding the broken bikes. So I call and I'm like, Hey, um, if there's any broken bikes, like I'll just ride that. Cause I saw that the ride was full. Well, it turns out like they actually were all fixed. So the ride was booked. So I thought like the girl that I was talking to was crazy because I'm like, um, no, there's normally always like a broken one. You know what I mean? But I guess they're all fixed, which is a good thing. Like, I don't know. I've just never known any cycle bar to have like all of their bikes working so that was kind of funny right after i got off the phone with her a bike became available so i got to book the ride and the ride was great it was like disney halloween that's another reason why i wanted to go because i'm like oh i like the theme so luckily i got to go and do the ride and i got to ride sidebar because one of the girls like changed my spot since she knows like i like riding sidebar which is nice and then um after that i go get starbucks because i'm like you know what I was craving this like all day yesterday and knowing I couldn't have it just like made me sad. First world problems I know and there's so much bigger problems. Um, but anyway, I go and get the coffee and the coffee was too light and that never happens. Like this location is normally, well was normally, now they're kind of like low key the worst. But anyway, this location was like always good so I... I don't know. I don't feel bad making or having them remake the drink because like this is almost five dollars and that is atrocious. But if the drink is like not good, like I'm gonna have them remake it because it's just too much money to not be good and for the customer not to be satisfied. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that sounds like a Karen, but like I'm paying for this. You know what I'm saying? And it's way overly priced. Like I get that. So it should be good, right? So I was like and I always try to do it nicely because like I get it. I don't want to deal with like bitchy customers. Like I would hate to do that, but like you could do things and stand up, but like just be nice about it. And like she was super cool. So all I said was like, hey, I'm so sorry. Like 
this almost never happens here but like this is just way too light could you please um just get more coffee like there's too much almond milk in it and all i tasted was almond milk like i like a splash of almond milk so anyway got the drink it's good but yeah it's just been kind of like a wacky morning but it's fine um, I don't know what the, what the rest of the day is going to hold. Probably trying to take my dog for a walk. She hasn't been out in a while. But the coffee tastes great and I like thanked her a lot because it needed to be fixed. And now since the weather is just so amazing out, Piper and I are on our little walk here. I love taking her out when it's like a nice day. It's like perfect weather. So it's the next day. Obviously, I didn't do a whole lot when I got home from Starbucks, but just taking it easy because it's a four day weekend, I swear. I make up every excuse to just like relax. So anyway, something exciting happened. Um, this phone case sold. It's the On Point Wildflower one. It sold on eBay for like $18. I have to mail that and then I really want to do a review on the iPhone 16 so that'll probably be like in this video. I want to film a what's on my iPhone as well. Um, I might do that later today or tomorrow. It'll probably be a tomorrow to do even though I'm on call tomorrow and I completely forgot. So hopefully I don't get called in because knock on wood like Sundays are more calm than like Saturday I would think it just all depends but fingers crossed I don't get called in tomorrow it's always when I don't have plans I don't get called in but if I have plans or some something that is like a plan I get called in so I probably and if I do get called in it doesn't matter because I have no plans tomorrow literally so we'll see what happens but fingers crossed um yeah, I kind of just want to film like the what's on my iPhone to get that up there and also like I guess just in this vlog for like my little coffee chat I'll talk about how I've been liking my new phone and stuff and yeah. But first, recycle bar class and then Starbucks. Okay, so I got my coffee but guys I feel so bad but this was just like all almond milk and I even had them like make it again. It's at the same location. I'm not, I think I'm gonna give that location a break cause I'm gonna get another coffee cause like that, I just can't even drink it. But I got my mom a coffee so it's all good. We're gonna mail this, uh, if I wasn't like going to like another Starbucks location or like going anywhere else, I probably would've just drank that and sucked it up. It's fine, like whatever. But since I'm here, I already like ordered it and I had stars, so it's technically free. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. But I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I love this case. I did a whole review on it. It was such a good case. I don't know if I'm gonna get the um, iPhone 16 Pro one. I don't know. I might email them, or not email, but like I might ask, is like the black border similar to this one? Cause I did not like that. But anyway, I love this case. It's gonna be sad to see it go, but I'm glad I can sell it, make some money, and someone else can use it. I'm going to run these errands. This is so much better. I'm glad that I went with my gut and just got the coffee I wanted because yeah I don't know I just couldn't take that other coffee also too they have the ice I like I don't like that other ice so overall it's worth it I was like I was so done with the other one okay so you guys are sitting on the Stanley but I just wanted to talk about the iPhone 16 Pro and like kind of my thoughts on it because I wanted to make like its own dedicated video but I don't have like that much to say about this phone. Um, if you guys have the 15 or even the 14, I wouldn't like really recommend this because it's the exact same. I will say the camera quality though from the 15 to the 16 is actually a lot better. There is a difference. The AI features are not a thing so I get why people are frustrated but it's not like i don't think i would use that a whole lot anyway so it's not really necessary it really is just like the 15 to be honest i like it the bezels so the bezels around the screen okay so you can tell the bezels see how thin they are i really like that they were significantly um thinner than the other one like they're noticeable 
you know, how thin they are. So I really like that. The placement of the button is awful because if I were going to use this, I would want it more like on the edge here because if I double tap, I have the setting too where like you double tap to open the camera because I kept hitting it. Like I hold my phone like this and when I click like the up or down um, volume buttons, I always accidentally hit it with my um, ring finger. So I have the setting where you just um, double tap it to open it because I keep hitting this thing. The placement is just not good. Again, I would want it like more lower. So yeah, like when I would open it, I would want to like, I would just want it lower. I get why people are turning it off because also too, if you really want to open the camera fast, I can just swipe left and I don't even really need a button. Um, I also don't like, I think it's really cool that you can like zoom in and out by like pressing. That's really cool and it's a nice feature. But when I'm videoing or whatever, if my hand is accidentally here, like I'm zooming in and out when I don't mean to be. So I wish that could be turned off. Maybe it can be. Overall though, I really like the black titanium because it is a darker black and that's nice. My overall review for this phone is like six out of 10. Like it's pretty, there are noticeable differences and it's cool, but it's like not, it's not like you're gonna be missing out on like a lot of things if you don't get this phone. Also too, little mini review of the case. Very, very slippery. Yeah, this could easily just like slip out of your hands. It almost has a few times. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but there's just dust particles everywhere inside the phone like you can see one right there in the corner of the phone um and then when i go when i show you guys see all of those dust particles yeah that's why i hate clear cases but literally everyone and their brother has a clear iphone case and it's like i kind of just go with what's trending i know that's probably bad but anyway there's a lot of like clear iphone cases around and I'm just like, you know what? It's something different. I'll give it a try. Definitely it's a good case, but I cannot stand and I cannot look at it for too long or else it's just gonna bother me for the rest of the time while I look at my phone. All of the dust that's under here, it's so annoying. And for someone who doesn't like take their case off a lot, it's, it's bothersome. <sighs> Um, but I'm still rocking it because it's not bad and I've always wanted a clear case with the black iPhone with this the MagSafe thing because I do think it like looks kind of cool but through and through I'm an Apple silicone case girly and I love the monochromatic look with the black iPhone and the black silicone case nothing will beat that look like hands down but we're just going with something different because why not um but overall it's a good case i like it but i just don't know but those are my overall thoughts about the iphone i honestly wish that i don't think that there's a purpose there is no need for a camera capture button because the action button you can just program it to be the camera um i think that's gonna be it for this video i know it was like super chill and random but I just want to talk about the iPhone a little bit since I've had it now for a while. What's today's date? Oh, the 12th. So like little shy of a month. Those are my thoughts about the iPhone 16 Pro. Also too, can we just talk about Aspen Ovard? Oh my gosh, like her story right now. That's kind of my Roman empire right now. I just keep checking TikTok cause like I want her to spill the tea so bad. I feel like she's close to it too. But anyway, okay, that's a whole other video and topic. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about the iPhone 16 Pro a pro max because i'd love to know the size difference is a little bit noticeable but barely so i have no opinion on that but anyway give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye